is your notebook running too hot? Do you want to do you want to cool it down? How do these coolers work out? Let's find out. Hi, this is Stephen from Own a Disown, and uh, what I'm going to be looking at today is to see is it a good way of cooling your laptop down, which it may be thermal throttling, and um, perhaps the fans themselves aren't uh, doing that good. Now, many computers come with uh, turbo boost fans, which you, you press a button or click something in the software, and the fans kick in big style. And of course, your face with God, that sounds like a freaking wind turbine. I can't live with that. Um, or sometimes, you know, it's manageable. But how does it compare to noise levels on a typical notebook cooler, for instance? And does it, uh, you know, does it perform any better? Or do these notebook coolers cool them down better? And does that increase performance? So um, I'm testing three uh, notebook uh, coolers. One is called the uh, Opola, and that uh, basically sticks to the, the back of your exhaust vent on your CPU and uh, sucks out the uh, the hot air. Um, I've got the uh, Momo City cooler here, which is a typical you know, flatbed one, but this has got four fans, um, an extra USB port here so you don't lose one, and controls the fan speed and the lights. Uh, and that's, I tested that with a, at an incline. And then last but not least, we've got the uh, a Havit cooler. It's a three fan design. I had this flat. There's no fan control on this. It's pretty standard, it's basic. Uh, you do have an extra USB port there. Now, so I measured the, uh, the, the, the noise levels on all of these combined with levels of the uh, noise levels on the turbo boosts on the, on the laptops. And the tests I did, I uh, split it into um, CPU tests. So I used the uh, Handbrake and the uh, Cinebench uh, 15. Uh, and uh, I did GPU tests doing Time Spy, Battlefield 1, uh, Mafia 3, and then a general performance test using Passmark. Um, since it's, uh, there's five uh, things. There's the um, the notebook at stock. I did that. The turbo fan of the notebook. The three coolers. So there's five different scenarios for each one of those tests. So I gave uh, five points to the winner, one point to the loser, and uh, I configured metrics for the performance. Were the the, the the fans actually help improve performance at all? And also the temperature. Did it bring down the temperature? And then I uh, I uh, added them uh, all together to give a total score and uh, see who the, the winner was for, for each, each separate notebook. So let's have a look at the results. We know that fan noise is very important. So I'm gonna compare the uh, the sound of the idle fan against the turbo fan, and then also the uh, sound of uh, all coolers as well. At idle, the Sage is about 23 decibels. So cranking up the turbo fan gives us about 44 decibels. MSI's idle fan is about the same as the Sager, but let's have a look at the turbo fan. It's certainly very loud at 59 decibels. So let's take a look at the sound of the Havit cooler. Quite surprisingly, it's quiet at about 31 decibels. The Momo City cooler is quite loud at uh, 48 decibels. And finally, the uh, Opala cooler, that was also loud at about 46 decibels. So let's look at the scores. I broke it down into CPU tests, the Cinebench and the Handbrake, uh, GPU tests, Time Spy, Battlefield 1 and Mafia 3, and also a general performance task in, in Passmark. Five points for a win and uh, one point for coming last. The CPU tests are in yellow there, and the Havid Cooler did win with uh, nine points total. Uh, the Auto Fan was actually seven, so it wasn't too far behind. And believe it or not, it even beat the Turbo Fan. I must point out that the variations were very slight. Probably the biggest improvement was actually the turbo fan in the handbrake test, shaving off nearly a minute. Moving on to gaming, the Habit Cooler performed well again and also did the turbo fan. And uh, as predicted, the auto fan actually came in uh, last. But in reality, we're, we're only talking of a few frames per second here and there, so nothing drastic. So the pass mark test uh, sums it up nicely, really, with the auto fan taking second place. Using extra cooling on the GT73 VR didn't really uh, improve performance all that much. Although that Havit cooler did pretty well, and when you consider that's quiet, that's quite a nice uh, performance. The total scores are represented in purple. So I did the same scoring system uh, for each fan, but this time recording the temperature. The turbo fan 
won every event, which is probably not surprising with it being the most loud fan. The next in line for cooling performance was the other loud fan, so the Opala and the Momo City. At least the Quiet Havit fan did beat the uh, Auto fan. The Turbo fan reduced temperatures from the stock fan by about 14 degrees Celsius on average, so that's pretty impressive, whilst the Havit cooler reduced temperatures by about 2 degrees Celsius. The Opala cooler did uh, quite well considering it didn't fully cover the exhaust vent on the uh, MSI, it reduced temperatures by 3 degrees, and the Momo City cooler reduced temperatures on average by 4 degrees. So combining the scores from the temperature and the performance and correlating it against the corresponding noise of the fans, the turbo fan does win but at the expense of noise, uh, but the Havit and the Momo City cooler performed uh, equally as well, um, but the, I would give that to the Havit with it being much quieter. Now moving on to the Sager, it is quite clear that the auto fan does not do a very good job at cooling it, as is shown quite clearly in the CPU tests. Take a look at this chart uh, running the handbrake test. Now auto fan, it took 53 minutes 22 seconds, while all the other fans completed the task in about 45 to 46 minutes. That is a huge improvement. So all the coolers and the turbo fan were actually fairly close uh, in improving the performance here. Now let's take a look at the temperatures. The Opala cooler did much better here because it did fit very snugly around the rear exhaust and uh, reduced the temperatures by 5 degrees Celsius. That put it on par with the uh, turbo fan, also at 5 degrees. The Quiet Havit cooler reduced temperatures by 2 degrees. And bringing up the rear was the Momo cooler, reducing it by 1 degree. So combining the performance and temperature scores again, which are shown in pink, along with their corresponding uh, noise values there in white, the turbo fan once again wins, but at the expense of noise. The Opala cooler comes in second. I do like the look of the Havit cooler. It comes in third with the quietest fan. So, to conclude, the turbo fan on the uh, MSI GT73 VR is extremely loud. It really is. At uh, 59 decibels, it's the loudest of the bunch, but it does bring temperatures uh, down quite considerably. But does it improve performance? Well, perhaps it does. It did shave off one uh, minute or so on, uh, on the handbrake test, uh, but other than that, you know, it, uh, it, was, it was close. It wasn't that much. I mean, yes, yeah, certainly there might be a few frames per second here, the odd uh, point here and there, but nothing glaringly apart from the, the handbrake test. So I'd recommend using the turbo mode on the MSI here if you're doing some serious rendering of video and you've got it um, overclocked. Now, I, I mean, I did have this overclocked. Uh, that would save, uh, save you some time. But for general use, it is too loud, I think, for doing that. And I think... The reason why the, uh, you don't get that much in the way of performance benefit is that the, the cooling is sufficient enough as it is and it, uh, it maintains quite a high turbo boost uh, throughout generally anyhow. So um, I don't think it's really needed uh, for this. No point having a notebook cooler for a big uh, laptop like the uh, GT73 VR. Now the Sager NP5855 is a different kettle of fish altogether. It, uh, it throttles at uh, stock when they're doing CPU intensive tasks and uh, certainly when using a the turbo fan which appears quite loud but actually it's not much louder than most of these coolers apart from the uh, the Havit cooler which is only 31 decibels the rest are all around about 44 46 decibels or so and uh, doing a CPU intensive test like the handbrake shaved off uh, a good uh, eight gate minutes uh, using the turbo fan on here but the good old little Havit one here saved off seven minutes and it's a lot quieter so i think uh, for this instance i'd recommend something like uh, like the habit um as it say it's quiet it uh, doesn't quite cool as well as the turbo fan but you know it, it still gets uh, the job done and it, it, you know it does it quite well now games wise you did see a little bit of benefit here and there but not so much as well as uh, cpu intensive tasks so like you're rendering your video and that type of thing so um so anyway i hope you you find that uh, useful um, thumbs up uh, if you like it and subscribe uh, to see some more of my videos. So catch you next time. Bye.